fainted this morning. Got thrown out of our home. Been there seven months. Six thirty in the morning. Um, there was no warning. We'd been promised by the inspector of the IMPT that looks after A Division from Manchester that we were going to at least be given the week so that we could make arrangements so that we weren't going to be thrown on the streets. We'd asked for clemency from Andy Byrne and the Mayor, at just at least until the meeting that we had with him. You know, perhaps we could understand then because there's legal processes to go through. First thing I heard was a noise. Well, I heard talking, opened my eyes and just saw, well, black overall things with a hat, guys with hats with lights on and you talking to them and I thought to myself, well today I think is the day that we're going to have to leave and try to find somewhere else. It was, uh, it was quite a, I don't know, it kind of made me realise how much I needed that, that corner house. An eviction of 20 homeless people come off the street there's vulnerable people in there, people suffering with disabilities, mental health, physical disabilities, ex-addicts that are no longer addicts. There's a lot of shit that they've just caused. And it's not fair, it shouldn't be happening. No one should be made to be homeless at the hands of the system. And that's what's just happened again. And it happens every single day and it's just, it's minging. No one, no one should have to be put through this. It's not fair. We always get evicted because we're not profitable enough. We're not profitable like empty buildings. It meant solidarity, it meant family, and it meant us looking after each other. And people who have no one to look after them having someone there to call on if they needed it. Normally it's many reasons. It could be homelessness, family breakdown, some people are care leavers, some people are just literally have no other choice than to call on somebody they may have only known for a couple of weeks to help them because they literally have nowhere else to turn to. And then it became home again. It's a surreal question, what is home? It's damn sure not a fucking doorway and it's damn sure not a fucking hostel. What is home? That's what started with space. Home's an empty building that we put our energy into. Home's an empty building that we put our families into. Home's a building that offers sanctuary, peace, love, security. Those are the memories that I've got of the corner house. That place kept a lot of people safe. A lot of people. Of all ages and all problems, everything you can think of, everything you can name and everything you can was in that building. The good, the bad, the ugly. All the stuff that you fail to deal with every day, Andy Burnham, every fucking day your bullshit persists. So today, this morning, six o'clock, 20 more kids on the street, 20 more vulnerable people on the street. I think our demands as a network point of view were quite clear when we emailed Andy Burnham. This was stop criminalising rough sleeping, right? Stop giving people criminal records for doing the only thing that they have open to them and that's sleep on the streets. Whether you like it or not, whether you agree with it or not, that's the only option they feel they have, right? So you need to stop that, you need to stop criminalising of that. Secondly, you need to stop evicting people. You need to stop evicting people from council houses. You have the power as a council and a government to not make those evictions, particularly when they're for non-payment of rent, which usually means you're on housing benefit. They control the housing benefit. They control the fact that it's not getting paid. They control the eviction. Sanctions on uh, UC. You invented UC, you changed the rules on universal credit, okay? We had separate housing and we had separate job seekers before that. 
if someone got sanctioned on a job seekers they didn't lose the housing you've wrapped it up in one to save money to save money you've put people on the streets um, the third thing would be uh, for me that you need to get your head round setting up using empty buildings in Manchester specifically to house homeless people but not just your long-term love sleepers it's those people that hit the street now today this very minute those are the people we want in there we don't want those people to be in 10 years time the long-term love sleepers and this is where an initiative on the face of it like housing first justifies and proves that that way of dealing with the situation is the better way and we'll keep fighting and we'll keep protesting and we'll keep pestering the absolute living fucking shit out of you until you sort it out because it's bullshit if i went over to your house and i took everything that you ever owned and then sat you in a doorway and said right go and fend for yourself could you do it no could you fuck because you've always been that person to be like yeah i've got this money i've got this house i've got this car i've got this job and i don't care I'm just going to stand there, play Mr. Big I, I am, make all these promises. I care about Manchester, I care about the people, bullshit. Because if that was true, there'd be no more homeless people in the streets. So until that's stuck to, keep fighting, keep, we'll keep squatting, keep protesting, keep shutting down the roads, keep shutting down the train stations. If you have to, I'll smash up your buildings. I don't give a shit. Sort it out.